Hello there my friends. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. In this video we have two topics. The first one is about the Carabao Cup final between Man City and Tottenham Hotspurs. The second topic is about Watford. We're gonna say congratulations to them for coming back to the Premier League. Let's go. Okay, let's start by the Carabao Cup final. It's gonna be this Sunday at Wembley. The good news is that fans are allowed to go back to the stadium. Not gonna be many fans over there maybe 2000 each team but it's much better than an empty stadium this is a step in the right direction and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel so we have hope from next season we're gonna have fans back in the stadiums and we can start enjoying football as usual because football without fans is nothing Anyways, the Carabao Cup, also known as the Man Series Cup. Haha, <laughs> a bad joke here, right? But they've been winning it every single season, pretty much for four years now. So looks like uh, they're gonna make it their own. It's a nice little cup. Some people call it the Mickey Mouse Cup. They don't really consider it as a cup, but hey, a cup is a cup no matter how small or big it is <laughs> you know what i mean and especially for tottenham who haven't really won any significant cup for the last 14 years it's gonna be a good cup to start with and build from there i know for the banter this cup doesn't represent anything if you win it you're gonna give it some value if you don't win it you're gonna try to sabotage that cup the question is who is gonna win the cup well on paper man city are the favorite but just on paper because you never know a final is a different ball game no matter how good or bad you've been during the season one game you can become heroes so it's not done and dusted for man city they have to be very careful because Tottenham are not mugs. They have a great team. They just sucked their manager. They are underdogs and they have nothing to lose. They started playing football, okay? Because under Jose Mourinho, they were not allowed to play football. But now it's like the dog is unleashed. So be careful, Man City, because look at that team look at tottenham's team everywhere you have quality i'm not gonna talk too much about siri because everybody knows who siri are everywhere they have quality even if they have injuries even if they have suspension john stones and such and such it doesn't matter because the player that will come from the bench is as good as the one that started the game so there are no excuses for city they have just to come up with a strategy to win the final and we know sometimes pep guardiola act like a crazy man he will just complicate things for himself hopefully this time he's going to make things simple and easy for his players to understand in my humble opinion banters away I see Tottenham Hospers causing some problems to Man City. They could surprise many people. You know what I mean? I don't want to say it, but I have to be honest and try to be as unbiased as possible. The only worry I have about Tottenham is Harry Kane. I don't want to rush that guy to the starting 11. It reminds me of the Champions League final when he was rushed and it was like playing 10 against 11 for the entire game i know you can't leave such a player on the bench but sometimes for the good of the team you have to do what hurt 
So Harry Kane, if he's not 100% fit, don't play him. Play Vinicius, that guy from loan, you know. Those kind of players can be a hero for one game. Okay, you can call him whatever name you want, but he is going to is a final like i say a final is a final even the biggest flop in the world can become a hero in a final i'm not saying that vinicius is a flop but i'm trying to make a point here just like uh, lorente remember when he eliminated man man city in the champions league i think a semi-final or quarter final something like that so it just tells you that you never know if you are on your day you can do great things so the question is who do you think are going to win the carabao cup man city or tottenham and should tottenham risk hurricane in the final do you think that he is ready to play or you think he should be rested or come off the bench because i think they are going to play him because of his name because he is hurricane but physically and mentally he might not be ready the second topic for this video is about watford we're gonna say congratulations to watford and welcome back to the premier league troy dini what a story i remember a few years back when Troy scored that goal that uh, brought them back to the Premier League. It was spectacular. And this time, they went to the championship for just one season. And now they are back. And get ready, Arsenal. <laughs> Remember when Troy said that uh, Arsenal don't have cojones? And the funny thing, the irony of the story is that Arsenal relegated them to the championship you know the last game that they played was that the game that relegated them to the championship now they are coming back hungry and angry so i can't wait to watch af tv again you know after the game against watford it's gonna be epic so what story man i think uh, watford deserves to be in the premier league they have great players is a very great little family club near london and uh, welcome welcome you deserve it but hey when you play against my team please don't beat us <laughs>